Princess Twilight, every pony at the hospital is so excited for your visit today. I'm never too busy to visit sick foals. I can't believe a whole class just came down with the horsey hives. On school picture day, too. Oh, the poor dears really do need cheering up. We'll do our best. We'll bring snacks, I'll read to them, and get them gifts. Food and presents always cheer me up. We'll see you soon. Okay, if we want to be at the hospital by lunch, then we have three hours to buy get well presents, borrow a book from the schoolhouse, and pick up treats. It's a lot, but if we stick to the schedule, I know we can get it all done. Yeah, knock on wood. Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh! How's my favorite niece? I'm good. I was hoping my favorite aunt could watch me for a few hours. I hope you're not too busy. Actually, we kind of are. <laughs> busy? Psh. Would the best aunt ever be too busy to spend time with this adorable little one? No. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? <laughs> Flurry, I've got a surprise for you. a couple of toys that reminded me of Flurry. <gasps> I'm excited to show you I've done some shopping for Flurry Heart. Oh, you're so sweet. You didn't have to do all that. I know, but I can't help myself. Best aunt ever! Open this one, Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! They're bears! You're one smart cookie. We'll just put Flurry's things over here, Twily. Uh huh, totally. <laughs> Mashed peas, her favorite. And diapers, uh, extra diapers. Oh, and backup extra diapers. <laughs> Mashed peas, her favorite. Wait, did I say that already? Uh huh. Oops. Oh, and this is the most important thing of all her whammy. I take it Flurry named it? Yep. If she gets fussy, just give her the whammy and she'll calm right down. You getting all this, Twily? Whammy, got it. Where are you guys headed anyway? You remember my friend from the Royal Guard, Spearhead? Honestly, all of your friend's names are very similar. Well, he has a pop-up art show at the Ponyville Cafe, and we decided to go at the last minute. We're not exactly art enthusiasts, but we could really use a night out. You mean day? That's what I said. Isn't that what I said? Mm -mm. Either way, are you sure you can watch her? Uh-uh-uh. Mm. <coughs> Have no fear. The best aunt ever has everything under control. <coughs> Thanks again, Twily. Okay, let's grab that warmy thing and go. Oh, you 
you want to pretend we're the bears. I suppose we have time for a quick game. Do we, though? Oh! Hey! All right! <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> you should catch her soon, because we've got lots to do. Horsey High's covered those cannon on us, remember? Got it! I'm catching up! Bug. Did that scare you? It's okay. It's just Auntie Twily. <laughs> you know, that was a very advanced spell for some pony your age. Looks like you're already taking after your Auntie Twily. All right, that was pretty adorable. But now... I know, Spike. We're leaving. I just have to feed her real quick. Or a mistake? I have no idea. But who cares? We're not changing diapers. <laughs> Shining armor! Cadence! Are the new rents? Give me some hoof. Oh, it is so uh, good uh, to see you dudes. Hey, thanks for coming. Of course, we're having a great time. Loving all the art. Uh, that's a trash can. So it is. I knew that. But hey, who's to say it's not art? Art can be anything that speaks to you. It changed my world. This is my latest piece. A thousand nights in a hallway. Wow. I guess nighttime in a hallway can be pretty dark. There is none more dark. Yeah, totally. We're just so happy to be here. Usually we're covered in mashed peas by now. When they said mashed peas were her favorite... <laughs> they mean her favorite thing to decorate a room with? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, Spike. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, and we're only 20 minutes behind schedule. 20 minutes?! <sighs> it's fine. We can totally do this. <laughs> okay, we just need to grab some toys and we are out of here. Ugh. You wanna play, don't you? Well, I know a game that's even more fun. And more efficient. Playing race cards! <laughs> Nice thinking, Twilight. Best and ever! Hang on, Flurry. The race cart's taking a pit stop. But I think we got a suspect. Huh? <sighs> well, we better get to cleaning. We've got no time to waste. Thanks, but they were organized by color. <sighs> already behind, we're still 55 minutes behind! I mean, <laughs> yay team? Mm-hmm. 
Thanks for helping us out, Cheerily. Sorry we were late. Oh, no problem. But I gotta say, I'm surprised you came to me for a book. Don't you have a huge collection? Yes, but... <laughs> Sorry, one second. I didn't think the foals would be interested in the unabridged history of amulets in Pony Latin. Yeah, it was good you came to me. How about the complete collection of Ponyville fables and stables? Hmm, too long. Alien alicorns versus space pirates? Well, the science there is preposterous. How about Brinferno, warrior from within? It's about a handsome dragon warrior who slays evildoers with his breath and his snappy comebacks. <laughs> Let's borrow that for you and keep looking. Eh, what else? <laughs> uh, how about Gusty the Great? Ooh, that was one of my favorites when I was a filly. We'll take it. Um, should I go with something more current? <gasps> Cheerily, I am so, so sorry. I didn't even hear her leave. There, all clean. Great! Now I'll just write it up again with my mouth. <laughs> Feast your eyes. This one's called A Kitchen Guard's Journey. Ah. Oh. <laughs> This reminds me of the time Flurry got into the chocolate pudding, and we found little chocolate hoof prints all over the carpet. <laughs> that took forever to clean up. But remember how cute her little face looked when we caught her? Yeah, she was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, art is so evocative. I wasn't even going for that memory. Score! Honestly, Twilight, I don't even want to tell you how late we are. Should I just cancel our visit to the hospital? What? Cancel? We can't cancel, Spike. The sick bulls are counting on us. And the BAE would never throw in the towel like that. BAE? Best aunt ever? Besides, this errand is going to be different. Well, how do you figure that? Because Flurry can play with the Cake Twins and stay out of trouble. Best aunt ever! <laughs> Wonderful! They're friends already! Huh, I shouldn't have doubted you. Thanks! Wait, you doubted me? Spike, you watch Flurry. I'll take care of everything else. I think he has it going. I need to pick up the cupcakes for the foals at the hospital, and can you do apology treats? I'm good. Here they are. Of course I can. Do you still have a giant file of every pony's favorite treat? In my secret party planning cave. <laughs> Remind me to tell you later how amazing you are. Cheerily? I am pretty awesome. Cheerio meal cookies with yellow sprinkles. Great. Can you write sorry on them? I've got a stamp for that. <laughs> to fight? Yes. Hang on, I'm sure there's another one. Ah, uh, not this one. That's cute. Hold on, sweetie. We'll play in a second. Toy store. Apple strudel cupcake with caramel drizzle. <laughs> oh no, you're making the same face cheerily made. Pinky, remind me what your favorite treat is? Hmm, the sampler platter. We'll take three of those. Aha! Told you. 
find another one. Sorry. No, <sighs> oh, I needed it. I was just gonna say, we're here! And we're only four and a half minutes late. Four and a half! And while no pony had ever tried to reach Cloudsdale on hoof, Gusty the Great was not deterred. She and her unicorn warriors marched up the hill. But suddenly they encountered... <gasps> what? What was it? It was the treacherous Grogar, and Gusty could tell he was ready for battle. Gusty called out to the Unicorn Warriors. Ow! Not right now, Flurry. These fools really want to hear this. <laughs> we can fight Grogar together. And the Unicorn Warriors shot magical beams into the clouds that wove into one. The beams, stronger than a thousand armies, shine down. It wrapped around Grogar and pulled him to the ground. Don't let him escape. Say, ah! Uh, ah! ah! Rogar was strong, for fear gave him power, <laughs> and he broke through the barn. <laughs> I know, so good, right? Twilight, look up! Spike, you're floating. You're floating! So are you! Pony, okay? <laughs> Flurry, that was very, very bad. You could have hurt some pony. <laughs> Flurry, I didn't mean to. Sweetie, you don't have to be scared. It's just me, see? You're scared of me because I yelled at you like a big, scary bear. Flurry, I'm so sorry. I've been a terrible aunt today. All you wanted to do was play, and I've barely been able to pay attention to you. None of this is your fault. It's mine. So much for being the best aunt ever. But I hope you know how much I love you. <laughs> oh, I take it you forgive me? Thanks, Flurry. How about we head home? After we find your whammy, of course. <clears throat> And clean up. <laughs> this one kind of reminds me of Flurry's hair. <laughs> and this one reminds me of Flurry, too. How so? It's small, like her. I, I can't do this anymore. Spearhead, this has been great, but. Say no more. My art has always spoken to me about what I love, but knowing that it spoke to you about what you love speaks to me. What? Go to her. <laughs> Flurry, where's our little pole? Oh, oh we missed. 
missed you so much. Oh. Hey. <sighs> but it looks like you had a great time without us. Actually, not so much. Flurry got into some mischief. But it wasn't her fault. I shouldn't have agreed to watch her with such a jam-packed schedule. It was too much to juggle. But Flurry taught me an important lesson today. It turns out being the best aunt ever isn't about spending the most time with your niece, but spending quality time with her. And she taught me a really cool bear game. So I guess I learned two things. <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely should have given you more of a heads up. Yes. From now on, we'll give you plenty of notice. Oh, that would be great. Hey, what are you doing next Tuesday? <laughs> For dinner, not to babysit. <laughs> I'll have to check with Spike, but I think we're free. Where is Spike anyway? The dashing dragon warrior breathed a scorching flame from his snout, then chuckled to himself as he flew into the sunset. If you can't stand the heat, don't fight a dragon. Hey, you kind of look like him. Thank you. Okay, now who wants more cake? Yay!